The Lewis and Clark National Historic Trail was established to administer the route. Today, the National Park staff serves as a resource to hundreds of partners along the trail. One of the really neat things about a trail, it's not just one spot in time. It's a very long story. It's a very rich story. I think the future is continuing to weave relationships, partnerships, because that is everything that is important to us. Because of the attention being paid to it, because the parks are encouraging and supporting, it's going to give us a rich road to walk uh, all the way out to the, to the ocean and back, just like Lewis and Clark. Lewis and Clark National Historic Trail, partnerships for the future. The Lewis and Clark National Historic Trail was established to administer the route. Today, the National Park staff serves as a resource to hundreds of partners along the trail. We talk about this being a string of pearls, but while all of us, our special places along the way, may be the jewels on that route, it is the National Park Service that is the string that binds us together. Welcome to Omaha. The role of the Park Service is not that of the owner of the trail, we're the administrator of the trail, and that really means that we have to work with other people, and honestly it's better if we do because it strengthens our ability to get things done. This is our monthly conference call, Trail Talk. Welcome. Partnering with them is so exciting because they care about the trail and all of us along the trail itself care about the trail, but they have expertise that we don't have. What the Park Service has is kind of a pure interest in the trail. The time is ripe to promote and to protect and to celebrate what we have in our community and for the next generation. The preservation and interpretation of the trail is a result of partnership collaboration, and a network of over 2,500 volunteers across the country. While the opportunities are vast, it is the detailed work of the thousands of volunteers that keep the trail alive. People are interested in being part of something bigger. And the Park Service brings a ton of volunteers and that institutional knowledge you just can't get anywhere else that make these projects work. If we did not have our volunteers, a lot of our visitor centers would not be open as much as they are to our public. Thought it was time that I gave something back to the country. It keeps me active and alive. <laughs> not only can volunteers volunteer in visitor centers, but they can also go out with resource managers and really be involved in helping the environment and maintain the natural part of the Lewis and Clark National Historic Trail. The story of the Lewis and Clark National Historic Trail is a story of America, and the responsibility to protect it belongs to us all. I see the trail being alive in multiple ways. You'll see people recreating on it. You'll see transportation. Uh, you'll see a lot of different uh, uses of the trail. Everyone could experience it. I think we all want to be explorers. I mean, I know I did when I was a kid. It's that adventure story that people just love. We are committed to this trail, and we are dedicated to seeing this trail grow and prosper and have more people involved in the protection and telling the story. In order to come in, you have to ring the doorbell. I really think that the future is working with people along the trail and continuing to look outward and continuing to focus on relationships and how we move forward and manage the trail. This video was produced to highlight the value of the many partners who preserve and protect the places, stories, and landscapes of the Lewis and Clark National Historic Trail. Thank you.